Well, hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee, Fios 1 News, Long Island, Fios 1 News, New Jersey, and today, Fios 1 News, Lower Hudson Valley. Let, uh, let, let me take a look at what's going to, let's take a look at what's happening this evening because we do have uh, a lot of weather going on just to the west. To tornado watch is in effect for the western counties of New Jersey. So we're talking Warren County, Hunterdon, Mercer, uh, down to Burlington, Gloucester, and Camden counties. I just want to make sure I got all of them in there. But if you're in the counties surrounding those, pay attention to the weather. Go the weather this evening because uh, the uh, y you can't nail this stuff exactly. And and uh, the, the storm prediction center does an absolutely spectacular job with these things. But you know sometimes they do fall on the fringes, and we're not exactly sure yet what's going to be happening further to the east. But this is what the tornado watch looks like this evening. All of the state of Pennsylvania and those western New Jersey counties. Uh, Burlington County has that little uh, arrow, that point that goes down close to uh, the New Jersey shore. It's a little odd that it stands out, but they have to kind of cut it off at some point. So instead of just putting half the county in, you put the whole thing in. Uh, basically, you try to make it look as much like a rectangle as you can. It's a very, very busy uh, night, uh, evening, with respect to severe weather. We're going to have complete coverage tonight on Fios 1 News. Uh, coming up at 5 o'clock and of course uh, on the uh, local zones Fios 1 News, New Jersey in particular starting at 7 o'clock and we'll be breaking in uh, with uh, any uh, uh, weather uh, that is uh, happening with regards to warnings the uh, Storm Prediction Center is actually predicting, predicting uh, a moderate risk of uh, 2 inch plus hail in the watch area a moderate risk of uh, severe hail, so I guess that counts. Uh, severe wind of 60 miles an hour or more, moderate risk. And the moderate risk that there could be some tornadoes. And we actually have uh, a multiple uh, tornado warnings uh, up at the moment. I'm going to bring up the Weather Services uh, page here. And we'll go to what's happening out to the west. Now remember, this is all time sensitive if you're watching this on the replay. This is uh, before we're at it's 3:54 Eastern time, so you can see that the uh, the office from uh, State College, PA, has uh, multiple tornado warnings and numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that are up, and this is what their radar looks like at the moment. And these cells are moving pretty quickly to the east southeast, uh, and uh, there are some supercells uh, in here, those dark reddish almost purplish blotches there, uh, indicative of uh, some of the stronger cells that have developed uh, from uh, the uh, weather system that is moving through. Now, further to the east, you're looking at the Upton radar, where we're seeing just some light rain moving over central and eastern Long Island and southeastern New England. There is a definitive warm sector that has developed, and that has actually sent temperatures shooting up to our west. Here's the view from uh, Mount Holly's radar, and you're starting to see that first cell coming in uh, to the west northwest of well to the west of west of west northwest of Philadelphia. Uh, that uh, cell just approaching now I-81, so it's got a little time to buy before it moves. Uh, it reaches New Jersey, but we're going to certainly start to see things happening here uh, as we approach uh, the uh, evening commute in the western counties of New Jersey. We'll see what happens as they uh, start to move further to the east. I'm just going to pull up a few weather observations really fast and uh, take a look at what some of the you know what's happened this afternoon. In that uh, it's broken out wide open in terms of uh, uh, temperatures across uh, the area where we've had the watch. You see temperatures move up into the 80s in some places. Mount Holly right now is 77. We've got dew points in the upper 60s. It's a very unstable air mass here. Newark is 67, 63 on the dew point, and the winds are southeast. If you go into into southwest New Jersey and into the western counties, the winds have all gone southwest there. Mount Holly at uh, 70, uh, 677, 67 with a southwest wind at 8. And we're looking at dew points in the upper 60s to low 70s back through Pennsylvania. So this is very, very unstable air. Philadelphia is now at 80 degrees. So you're seeing the atmosphere destabilizing pretty rapidly across western New Jersey and eastern Pennsylvania. Now, for those of you in the eastern counties of New Jersey, northeastern New Jersey and the Hudson Valley, uh, it's hard to say whether these thunderstorms, how much of them are going to survive 
or whether we may have additional storms form later this evening. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> fact that we've had marine air all day has uh, prevented uh, the uh, daytime heating from coming in, and of course it is prevented from the atmosphere destabilizing, but we're going to watch this very, very carefully. All right, so we're going to wrap it up here at this point. Uh, we are, uh, uh, be sure to tune in at uh, starting at 5 o'clock on Fios 1 News Now, uh, and uh, beginning at 7 o'clock, uh, I'll be on uh, Fios 1 News Long Island, Fios 1 News New Jersey, and Fios 1 News uh, Lower Hudson Valley to keep you abreast of all the latest developments. But uh, at the moment, it's the westernmost counties of New Jersey, uh, Warren, uh, Hunterdon, Mercer, uh, down to uh, Burlington County, Gloucester County, uh, those uh, Camden County, those are the counties that are involved in the tornado watch at the moment. And if, if you're traveling westward, it's all of eastern Pennsylvania, in fact, just about the whole state of Pennsylvania under a tornado watch. So we'll see you later on Fios 1 News. And I'll be live streaming on YouTube, weather permit permitting, uh, roughly at about 545, 550 p.m. All right, we'll see you later, everybody. Thank you for being on today.